The Way to the Masters by Annie Besant, published in the October 1911 edition of The Path magazine, read by Dave Marsland of Cardiff Theosophical Society. The Path was the official magazine of the Adyar-based Theosophical Society. The Way to the Masters It is not the belief in the Master's existence, but it is the willingness to give yourself to the redemption of the misery of your fellow men that is your passport to the White Brotherhood. Because then the Masters see that there is a person worth helping, because through him they can work. They are ever on the outlook for such people. If they see in you the possibility of forming a channel to help humanity, if they see that even a part of your desires is to leave the world better than you found it, it is very likely you will be helped by them. This is the most effective way of drawing their attention. This is the road of service which, when trodden, inevitably leads us to them. There is more need of unselfish workers now than formerly because of the need of help. They are more anxious for you than you are for them. In the preparations for the Sixth Route Race, for the Universal Peace Movement, for the forward march of civilization, the need of workers is so pressing that many thought not ready formally will be accepted now. At present, to leave the world is the most fatal thing one can do. It will lead away from them. Whatever you may happen to be, whatever your position in life may be, the one dominating note of your life should be service of your fellow men. If you are ever on the lookout for opportunities for service, then you will bring yourself into the circle of those who know who the Masters are. Once a Master was asked how to reach one's Guru. He said, Think of him in your daily life, perform every duty for him, then you will force yourself on his attention. Notice the last significant phrase. It is so. The Master cannot help it. You can thus force yourself into his presence. Do not separate your thought of the Master from your thoughts of the ordinary life. He must be a part of your life and a background for all your actions, whatever you may be doing. That sets up a stream of thought between you and him. It is so difficult to keep up. To keep this one thought ever present before you shows a strength of will, which is a rare thing. If you make up your mind to find your guru, this is the open road, especially for the younger, who have ample time before them and whose nature is quite plastic and impressionable. So there is no great difficulty in forming a channel between the young disciple and his master.